And that is a hello and welcome to our 20th day of streaming The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus, hoping against hope that we're getting ready for repentance and not just wasting our time. Yesterday we unlocked It Lives for our streaming file. Isn't that fantastic? Our one run a day file, it can now potentially go further. Um, yeah, so I think I think today, ooh, who should we play as? Let's play as Kane. I know our last run as Kane didn't exactly end well, but you know what? Let's do it anyway. Chocolate milk. Give us our charge shots here. And like chocolate milk is one of those really good ones because you can just charge up for that massive shot, or you can literally just shoot tiny little things. And still obliterate people. Now, piercing shots would be a really, really good idea to get. Um, but yeah. So, anyway. How's everyone doing? Kind of thing. I suppose I should actually turn my chat on. There we go. But, yeah. Um, yesterday was a, was a good day, I think. You know, we cleared most of our stuff. Most of it. Um, even though we didn't, we weren't able to actually clear, hi Loyler, we weren't actually able to clear, uh, Satan at the time, I don't think. Uh, we did still get some decent unlocks. And, uh, yeah, strange aeons happened last night. It was a little bit wonky. It started a little late, um, because people kept thinking of things they needed to ask, thinking of things they needed to do. And that's one of those things that I try very, to be very clear about and make sure everyone knows. Um, you know, be ready kind of thing. And yesterday we had um, Darren Lynn on asking a crap ton of questions about D&D and stuff. Um, and one of the really important things that I did mention was the considerations and taboos kind of thing. Um, which was, you know, it's, it's very important for any campaign, I would think, at the very least. I wouldn't be part of, want to be part of a campaign that didn't talk about, you know, the considerations for its players, and instead it was just like, hey, let's get right to role-playing, and if something offends you, ignore it. Which is kind of a very old-school way of thinking about it. But yeah, as you can see with the chocolate milk, as long as I can friggin' push the button, it's, it's just machine gun. Of course, it works better against smaller enemies to just use the big shots. Um, as well as against, you know, poops and stuff. I think my little shots work just as effectively. So. Yeah, I was. it was actually a really good time last night. The... Uh, the folks encountered the first non-dead NPC who was actually, at the very least, helpful, if not exactly friendly, for anyone who missed it. Dude was rude AF. Uh, but to be fair, they are... They're the survivors of this incident, which has literally locked them in an insane asylum full of scary peeps who are trying to kill them. And, uh, yeah. So, I mean, I would be just as paranoid, just as scared that something bad was going to happen if uh, if I was one of them too, I suppose. I mean, they did they did threaten the players a little bit, and I did have to do the patented are you sure you want to do that as a GM? Um, I mean, mostly because one of the players is... I don't think he was thinking straight. Um... Well, I mean, the players didn't really threaten them. They they did attempt. They were thinking about an intimidation check. The players the players literally were trying to be beautiful people and like offered some healing and stuff like that, uh, which honestly I should have killed them for immediately for ca trying to cast a spell. But I figured, you know what? Let's 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 let bygones be bygones and not immediately kill off my entire player party just because they made one mistake. Okay. Yeah, so later tonight I am going to be gaming with Mr. Siren and Co. Running, or he's running a D&D &D adventure uh, called Frostvale for us, which 
it reminds me, I still have to finish recording that uh, that intro. I got I got a few takes down, but none of them were really, you know, fantastic enough for me to want to put up. Um, mostly because the, like the, I, I couldn't keep the pitch of my voice like the same the whole way through, um, which is a little irritating. Oh look, we got a monstro. So monster, I don't mind using the big shots on just because he moves so often. The little shots are gonna miss. Um, accuracy is power would be like really good with this guy because like doubling my damage and I only have like the big shots, right? It's not like I'm gonna be missing too too often, except like right there when I say I'm not gonna be missing too often. Of course I miss. Oh, that was great. I hit every shot on him until then, and then it's like, oh, I'm, what are the chances? That's just one of those things you don't say, you know? Let's pick you up. Uh, we only have 14 coins. Not really enough for me to want to... Mm, I will put a bomb there, though. Bomb there, too. There we go. So we do have enough for the place with the things now. Where was the... Oh, it was down there. And yeah, I can take on the curse room, I think. That wouldn't be too bad. Um, I could do, 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 do the pill baggy stuff. But I think I'm going to do at least one... I'm, gonna, I'm only going to be able to do one refresh. I'll grab the coupon, though. And uh, we got a tarot card and the PhD. So the pill baggy really would have come in handy, but... PhD. PhD is like one of my favorite items. I really don't get it often enough. We've gotten it a few times in these runs, but it's never really been super profitable. We don't have any bombs, so that was a waste. Urgh. This, this room has bombs, but it's bombs that I need to have a bomb to get to. I'm just getting lost, apparently. I'll be able to hold on to the lover's card. Hopefully, you can get another pill. Um, actually, I can grab. You right away. And I'll have a coupon ready to go for the store. Coupon's really useful if you're going to get a lot, a whole lot of items. I mean, if you have a lot of keys going to the shop kind of thing. It also works on Devil Room deals, which is nice. Not so much in Angel Room deals, because you only get one item anyway, and it's already free. So, not really a point. There we go. But yeah, this is the campaign which I am playing a turtle who talks very, very slowly and deliberately and is extraordinarily peaceable. I mean, to the point where, like, he's, he's not... I shouldn't say peaceable. He is, he is a, a physical pacifist um, to the best of his abilities. Although he will fight to protect uh, those who can't protect themselves, as well as to protect ideals that are very important to him. Um, but he has one, count it, one singular damaging spell, and that's it. That's all. That's that's the entirety of his uh, damaging repertoire. He has he has like no real ability to attack, no real ability to be hostile. Just that. Uh, we are not going to take the tarot card starter deck because that turns everything into tarot cards and we have the PhD. And that is not acceptable if we have the PhD. Well, that was mildly annoying. There we go. Not such a great turn of events. It means we can go into the cursed room, though, no problem. And get this, which was a mega troll bomb, which is not nice. Pop that. Oh, that was the wrong thing to pop. Now I gotta hope for a freaking six room charge. That is if I can even get into the shop. Or if there actually is a shop. Because it might just be a greed fight. Getting distracted over here, not paying attention, taking some damage. There 
And then my cats are doing something weird. Kind of love, like, not being able to focus. <laughs> That's okay. We're still in the early levels. It's not like it's a big deal. I say that. Watch me die in the next, like, five minutes. We've totally died in the early levels before in a bunch of our runs. Although, not with Kane. Kane's just lucky, which is good. Throw a bomb there. Nice. There we go. Looks even tempting us to blow it up. Might have to come back and do that in just a little bit. If I can just get our tears right up a little bit, the charge shots would be super worth it. PhD, it shouldn't be too hard. It's one of those things where like one of the pills you're pretty much guaranteed to get is a tears up. Now if only we can get a bunch of pills for free. Avoiding the bat room. I don't really have a room or a chance for a double room, so we're going to use the coupon in here instead. Hopefully get sack boy. Nah, we got a heart. Bop. We got spiders. I'm not a huge fan. Everyone knows that. <sighs> Alright. Whoop. <laughs> oh, you got bounced almost right at me, Mr. Bombfly. That was not very nice of you. Although I suppose it wasn't your fault you got bounced at me. There we go. A troll bomb. Obviously. Obviously it's a troll bomb. It's like, obviously this is a secret room. Wow. I was wrong. Oh no. The world is ending. Alright. Oh, we'll see what make them all. Megamon's kind of, he's one of those ones where if you don't have the timing perfect, he's really going to screw you up, but he's otherwise pretty simple. Same number of attacks, same, oh, same distance, same range, same speed, all the time. Not one that's going to be like randomly surprising you with something extra, which is nice. Um, no Devil Room deal, which we did guess at because we only had a more than three chance. So we can find the shop relatively early on in this one, and then just keep coming back to it with a coupon. That would be lovely. Ooh, look, a diamond everything. Nice. We're rich. Got ten whole cents. Like I said last time, I think one of these days you have to try for like a, a serious no damage run. Like we're always trying not to take damage, but we'll play probably Judas and try our best not to take any damage because um, there are achievements for not taking damage in every single area, which is kind of awesome. There we go. I have something for the shop by now. Yeah, 
Yep. Super accurate. Doing all the amazing. But, oh, there's, there's another item we can use. That's perfect. Um, once we find the store, actually. There it is. Wow, just speak and it shall happen, apparently. Um, not really much in the way of new media for me today. Like, I'm kind of thinking... Feeling a little Miracle Man today. That's a song that... A little repetitive, very upbeat, kind of awesome. Just totally check it out. If you don't mind. It's kind of it's kind of where my mood's at today. It's, it's a relatively good mood. Life is good, PG Keen. Um, it's one of those one of those things where like the lyrics don't naturally not not don't really match um, <laughs> the beat of the song. I'd say, kind of maybe. I mean, it's it's definitely not pumped up kicks where like it's 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 so so super friggin' catchy and it just. Uh, once you listen to those lyrics once or twice, you realize it's it's not what it's really about. Um, that is Guppy's head, which we are totally going to try and get through the battery we have over here. Because if I can get it for free, why the frig not? Nope, we got a pill though. One makes you small. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna try and get Guppy's head for free. I'm probably not gonna keep it. I'm probably gonna keep the coupon. Um, actually, no, I might actually just keep Guppy's head, even if we don't even if we don't get it uh, for free. Keeping Guppy's head is not a bad idea because there's all, there's every chance we get to turn into Guppy, and with the machine gun shots that we can pull off, that means a crap ton of flies for us. There we go. That's a troll bomb. I thought it was just a regular bomb. As per the usual, game got me. Well, it didn't actually catch me that time, fortunately. Yeah, just this time. No guarantee for next time. Oh, got me that time, too. All right. Get a bomb. I don't know why I dropped the bomb there. I really don't. I just... Apparently, I was like, unlocking time! Bomb. Bombs do all the unlocking. I mean, in real life... Bombs are pretty good at unlocking things. Not not so great at keeping them intact while unlocking them, but they are pretty good at unlocking things. It's like one of the primary skills. I make things open. Things, people, places, you know, all the, all that good stuff. You know, eventually I'm going to get like flagged for friggin' terrorism because of what Whistling Dave was saying on the channel the other day about, you know, commenting on my... Um, make sure your explosions are meaningful kind of thing and uh what i what i just keep talking about blowing things up that's it's, it's gonna be a thing so uh yeah that's 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 a thing all right oh, we've got our soul heart back we do have a lot more red hearts than I'd like, so getting a double room deal would be pretty... It's, it's pretty high on my, my, uh, my list of things to do. So is killing friggin' that and the bomb thing over here. Alright. But we can take on this boss without, uh, without worry. We can always come back and clear some more rooms to get... Well, that's not very nice. I'm gonna grab it anyway, because screw you, that's why. Bop. That's right, I just spent a bomb to get a bomb. Equal value. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Frig. That's... That's not fair. This is really not cool. Having him in such a tiny room is not awesome. And he's not... Like, he's now... Now he's gotten close enough to TNT that I can friggin' use it. Oh, and he's a shockwave ass. Hole. Okay, protective bird, you're supposed to be doing your thing. Yeah, thank you. That was that was really friggin' stupid. Take greed tears though, that's fine. I've never seen him in such a tiny friggin' room before. That's really annoying. Oh my goodness, that threw me off enough that I'm taking stupid damage now. <sighs> Hate it when that happens. 
All right, let's go. Whew. Calm down for a sec. We're fine. Okay. I was hoping for a double room deal so we can get rid of these hearts to go into the red room. Um, okay, we'll take a key instead. And we'll blow you up. No, wait. Ah, crap. I oh. Oh. Worth. So worth. Yes. I, I did forget Guppy's head. That That is... I was like, ah, oh, we're going to do the thing anyway. Nah, I totally forgot Guppy's head. Not a great time. Uh, sorry, coin bum. You're going to blow up now. So I can get some monies. You didn't give me monies. That's so sad. But I do have flight and spectral tears, which... It's two of the best upgrades you can possibly get. Of course, it means I can't push my bombs anymore, but... Mm. There we go. I have found that I'm getting a little more accurate with my shots, and like, not all the time, but on average, I'm a little more accurate than it used to be. Um, which is definitely coming in handy. When it comes to not wasting time and stuff. And I mean, the more people that I can kill at once, the better we're going to be. So, I mean, and, and also today might be ending a little bit earlier than average. So, I mean, typically I do try to end at 5 o'clock around there. We are not taking Curse of the Tower. Hell no. That is not a thing we are doing. I don't feel like blowing myself up every two seconds. Curse of the Tower is one of the worst things if you, if you don't want to, you know, destroy yourself. Every time you get hit, you just unleash a cavalcade of bombs. It's great. Range up. Gorgeous. There's a full health pill. I can't tell where mom's hands are going to be because Curse of Darkness. There's at least one left. There it is. Doesn't mean that's the only one, though. Got to stay on our guard. Ah, I love the fact that I got flying. That is an angel room item that we got for... Uh, he got for 15 cents. Su oh, he got me. Super worth. There we go. Two blue hearts. And a matchstick. Lovely. Moving on. Bunch of jumping friggin' hearts, huh? Hearts? Corpses. They're not hearts. Probably have hearts. I mean, they are still bleeding, so that makes sense. Uh, nothing good so far, good sir. Just uh, me taking some stupid damage, getting small, and I got the item Chaos, which I'm not sure you're familiar with, Mr. Obby, uh, but essentially makes any item room, or any item drop from any pool, instead of just being like, oh, this is only for devil rooms, oh, this is only for angel rooms, oh, this is only for item rooms. Um, anything can drop anything now. Which is not so great early on, but really good later on when you've already got a Devil Dealer too, And you don't need to get just those items anymore. Hopefully you're here in time to inspire some luck, because oof, I am not seeing it. There we go, got some money. Loyaler says it's rude. Why are we all the way in the task one, though? The full health pill. <laughs> I mean, fair. Accurate. I mean, I wouldn't. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not actually going to agree with on that one because I. We, we both Loyola and I have parents that live there, so. And, and Loyola kind of grew up there. Although that doesn't preclude the hating yourself thing. Tuscan is in such a bad place if you ignore the high crime rate. There's more than just a high crime rate. I mean, cars cost less than a Tuscan, obviously. <laughs> Hmm. 
There we go. Got some more bombs. No, no, it doesn't. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just like Super Saiyan, you know. Also, I really need to catch up on Dragon Ball Super. I like haven't watched it a lot. Uh, maybe not. Oh crap! I didn't mean to go in there. I haven't watched it a lot since like. Oh, psychic shots. Gotta love those. Ugh. Alright, I'm sorry I know you wrote something, Obby, but like, I gotta... Ah, oh, zigzag shots. You dick. Ugh, got me. Yeah, not getting the right coffee is terrible. Oh, that makes me sad. The North End's where I used to work. I actually thought they were, like, they're, they're pretty awesome most of the time. Sad they screwed up your order. Sad I lost most of my blue hearts, too. Although, if you ask me which one's more of a tragedy, I would say the Tim Hortons thing. Yeah, I mean, I know the person who, I, I mean... I know the person that manages the place still, because we still keep in contact a little bit, but oh, that makes me sad. I, I used to actually um, work with her as her baker way back when. I don't even think you knew me back then, Mr. Obby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, that's no fun at all. I can't even be like all happy and say, at least you got coffee, because if they gave you crappy coffee, then that's no good. Um, that was real special. I mean, that wasn't it. So we're going to take the Anarchist Cookbook just because we can. Um, nothing else is really worth I don't know, I don't... Oh, yeah, no, no, you know. Um... Maybe. Hello! Someone. Is it evening for you? No, it's still, like, afternoon for us. Uh, no, actually, that was the second time I worked for her, not the first time. The first time I worked for her, with her, instead of for her, was, I think I was, it was right before I got the job with you. So, the first time I worked with her was, like, way back when. So, okay, this is, the, this is like, going to be the last time we keep the coupon. If we find a decent item, we're going to ditch it. Just for the S and G. Let's see what we can get rid of this one. Uh, the double active card. Which isn't bad, but... It's only going to be effective if we actually use the coupon properly. Yes, I was thinking like way back when. You were thinking the second time. Oh, we got the crystal ball. Alright, that's good enough for me. Crystal ball away! And we're also going to just do the thing. Oh, okay. I mean, it does have a better ring to it. Good evening. You know, very Dracula. Good afternoon just doesn't really do it. It sounds more Mr. Roger than Dracula. Okay, we're going to hope that we can get a small speed upgrade from this guy here. Um, worst comes to worst, we'll take the child's heart if it completely drains us and doesn't give anything back. And we'll keep the crystal ball until we find the shop. There we go. Beautiful. I 
I just, like... Wait. Did the protective friend trigger because I took damage or because I was donating? I don't know which one it would be. But I do love that crystal ball. Because, like, it's essentially like... Oh, there that goes. Bye. One makes you larger. No, thank you. I'm big enough already. <laughs> oh, no. That's, I, I know I didn't think I took damage in that room until... Like, I may have taken damage from a fly. I, I was not paying particular attention. Um, I get distracted by the chat a lot. Alright, we know where the secret room is. We're going to go grab it. Oh, my goodness. That one was just prolific. Oh, crap. Baskets. Alright. That is something I say a lot, which I'm not even sure where that came from. I think it may have come from my lovely wife person, but I'm not entirely positive. Huh, that's an STD joke and a, STD jo joke and a half waiting to happen. I don't know why my setter came out there I'm trying to make a joke, and it was like, no, screw you, not allowed. Pill, hematemesis. I don't know how you're positive. I didn't know that was considered damage, honestly, because it doesn't nur doesn't nuke your devil room chance, and I thought that was what like the consideration for damage would be. I mean, if that's the way it works, and there's no reason for me not to, like, keep a friggin' temperance card on me the entire time, and then drop it in a boss room and, boop, get some money and damage a boss. You know, I have tried it, and surprisingly, it's difficult. I thought I totally missed there. Oh, come on. <sighs> Screw this. There we go. Not a huge fan of greed. Making me take damage is one thing. Making me lose my hearts is something completely different. Ooh, dice shard. Nice. Reroll. Uh, sure. I don't mind losing a little bit of speed. Doesn't actually make me any bigger. I don't like the amount of red hearts I have, but you know what? Eh, I'll find a peeler or something. Where's the shop? Oh, it's way over there. <laughs> See, this is a room I don't mind fighting a boss in. But the stupid friggin' short hallway? Nah. Ooh, full health. Abuse of power. Now, I was really excited to get the PhD, but so far it hasn't given us a whole lot of awesome. Then, to be fair, we haven't gotten a whole lot of pills. If I can get uh, the prescription bottle, though, that'd be great. I'd love that. I mean, Crystal Ball is also really sweet because it produces those hearts for you, right? I already have HP regen, so I'm not super worried about my HP.
Could have done it with a decent damage upgrade, though. Or even, like, a tears up. That's, that's what I'm missing right now. Uh. Mm. All right, time to clean up the mess. I believe it took us at least two minutes in that room. Although we do have cash. We have a lot of cash. Alright. None of those are really worth it except for you. Tammy's head would totally be worth oh. So we have 57 coins. And not a whole lot to do with them. Okay. Um, Got the gold room. Everything else is fine. Let's just go. We're already 33 minutes into the run at Mom. Usually we're here at like 25. If not less. And then, I don't think you were there, someone, but on our other file, the one that we're not doing just one run a day on, we actually unlocked both the negative and the Polaroid yesterday. Uh, well, I mean, we unlocked the negative yesterday. We unlocked the Polaroid a few days before. And that means I can finally stop focusing on trying to get further in the game and start filling out some, uh, filling out some notepads. Mm, got me. Yeah. I was pretty stoked. Green tears would be really good in green mode. I don't think I've ever gotten them in green mode. Is it possible to get them in green mode? I wonder. It'd be kind of unfair, I think. See, like, I mean, it'd also be pretty crappy facing off against Ultra Greed because, like, every time that he sees a coin, he can pick it up and heal. And he's going to be closer to the coins you drop from shooting him than you are, so. Maybe not a great idea. Maybe not. This, this certainly is a long fight. I mean, to be fair, we don't really have much in the way of damage upgrades, or tier speed upgrades, or really... The only good upgrade we have is the dove, getting the flying and the spectral tiers. That's making it possible for us to at least stay alive. That and the ridiculous amount of red hearts we have. I do wish I got a potato peeler, though. Super Meat Boy would be super handy right about now. And I could afford to make one. Easily. Oh, he got me. Did not see that coming, obviously. I thought I'd actually dodged him pretty neatly. There we go. <laughs> Got the fanny pack. Oh, um, I mean, Shrell takes skeleton keys for our heart, and um, Mr. Boom. Oh, I'm, I'm lowering my red hearts isn't a bad idea anyway. Forgot that I took chaos, so like the devil rooms aren't actually worth it anymore. Oh, maybe we'll get some decent bombs, finally. Luck up. And another full health. Alright. I see what you're doing. We I mean, nothing but full health. I mean, at least now we have un unlimited number of keys, essentially. If we had some tear effects, that would also make this a lot better. There we go. Mm. 
Mm, that's worth. Very. I am now the tiniest Isaac there ever was. Oh, I mean, not quite. I have been tinier before, but... Oh, my goodness. He stayed right with me on that one. Not quite. I wasn't counting on getting double rooms anymore, but it's still really annoying that they kill me like that. Let's keep that full health on us just in case. Oh, you're going to be bomb flies. Better than spiders. I do need to wish harder, honestly. Still no real damage upgrades is kind of what's killing me here. Because the chocolate milk is only worth if you can get a damage upgrade or two and really boost those shots. And so far, we're not seeing that. Just glad we have full we have full health pills kind of galore. I think we still have another one waiting in the other room for us. I suppose with the number of full health pills, it actually would have been... You know, you're right. I think getting hit is what's killing me. That's 100% accurate, Abby. Your uh, clever insights astound me. There we go. Well, at least we got two hearts back for it. It's not too bad. Yeah, we still have a full health play here, so that's that's also not too bad. All right, there we go. We really don't need that much in the way of money anymore, but... Oh, no. Suppose I have spectral tears, so these guys aren't as much of a threat anymore, but... I still don't like them. It's true, I have a 78 whole cents. I'm not sure if that's more or less than my actual bank account, but you know what? We're not going to count that. mold douchebags. The new Mr. Wonderful, huh? Take that bomb anyway. Where are you, Mr. Mole Man? There we go. There we go. More stuff. More stuff is good. Oh, I'm glad there's not the psychic shot, guys. I would have been really annoyed. Uh, no, I've never actually watched Dragon's Den. Never really saw the point. One of those TV shows I just didn't really get. Sorry to disappoint, Obby. Oh, wow. Just a lot of dudes in here. I can probably max it the amount of coins. Really? He calls he calls himself that? That's just kinda grotesque. You can't just 
I'm Mr. Wonderful. Who <laughs> who? No. Doesn't work. It's weird. I don't like it. I'm grumpy and stubborn and old, and I don't like it. I say I'm old. I'm not old yet. Fair. I can kind of imagine if you have a name like that. Oh, yes. All right. Judgment. Actually, not a bad thing. To, yeah, I can do this. Yeah, see, it doesn't really count as damage, does it? It's just. I also did not need two more keys. So, yeah, the summons, you were totally right. It didn't really count as damage as far as. Like my Devrim chances went, because I mean I've already I already nuked that, but like it didn't decrease at all, which is really weird. So like, it counts as damage for the crow, but doesn't count as damage for the Devrim chance. There we go. Like, I'm doing a full clerics and trying to get as many blue hearts as I can, because, I mean, the more I get, the better off I am, right? Oh, no. It's a mole room. Little jerk lots. There we go. No. When you have flat, that's why, like, flight is one of the best defensive things because you can walk, you can just go right through rocks, and ground bound things don't hurt you, including spikes, acid, blood, whatever. Doesn't affect you in the least. That's why I always advise you get flight. If you can. Taking a slow scenic tour of the area to see if there are any, you know, decent rocks to blow up. But yeah, just because the blood doesn't hurt me when I have flight doesn't mean I go out of my way to run over it. I still try to avoid it because... You don't want to train yourself to be okay taking that damage if you don't have flight. And conditioning and all that nonsense, it really does affect you when you're playing the game. You're like, oh, I can walk over that, when you really can't. Okay, we want to go right about here. There we go. No, you're... Got me. Little jerk. Didn't even leave me anything good. Just coins that I already had max on. How mean is that? We'll use that right away. Okay. That's pretty much it. That's almost every room discovered. I really shouldn't have taken that battery right away. I should have actually waited. Um, acid dude. Give me some good news. I'll take a speed up. Alright, that leaves one room left. I don't need a friggin' golden key. I already have night. Oh my god. This run is just cursed, I tell you.
So the blow wasn't hard enough before he deals a full heart of friggin' damage. <sighs> Go protect it, buddy. That was rough. I'll take Guppy's tail, though. But seriously, it would have been really nice to get something more than just... chocolate milk. Zoomiest boy. I mean, chocolate milk in real life? Hell yeah. Chocolate milk in this game is only good when you actually start getting some damage upgrades. No, you can't eat, have all the chocolate milk oiler. Ugh. Dicks. There we go. I'll take those. Sounds good to me. No, she has to share with me. Obviously, Avi. I, I don't know. I don't know how that was supposed to work. I'm pretty sure I was safe there, but whatever. Oh, this run isn't going to end well. I took chaos. I need to stop taking chaos so early on. That needs to be a thing I do much later on in the run. I will take this now, though. That didn't really do us any favors at all, did it? Try <laughs> find milk drinking. Um, that might have some connotations. I'm not sure. It's already there, thanks. I don't need to put my head in the gutter when it's already there, like, 90% of the time. Okay. Right about there. Oh, I'm on the wrong friggin' side. That's what I'm doing. For some reason, thinking down is where I need to be.
Why am I getting all these coins when I have an arcade right there and I could totally just uh, spend all my money at the arcade and then, and then do that. There we go. Nice. So hopefully we get a decent amount of blue hearts and some good pills. Maybe yeah, health up is good. Okay, yeah, get some good pills, get some pretty flies so we can actually do some real damage against the peeps. Maybe we'll get lucky and get a, an item or two out of this one because it's no longer constrained to just dropping a dollar or dollar related things. Thanks to the chaos thing. But I did drop a dollar. Which is fine. We can exhaust our monies and then go back for it. Stupid spectral tears not really being able to push things hard. We're almost at top speed. Which is actually bad, because I'm, I'm not really good at controlling us at top speed. That's fine. Like a little circular motion, so that's how we'll do it. Top speed and tiny. The bird is going to trans... Like, oh my god, pretty fly is bigger than us again. I mean, at the very least, this should be enough to get us through Mom's heart, if not Satan himself, but we'll see. Nice. It's kind of what I wanted. I wanted to get as many pretty flies as possible. Oh yeah, let's get smaller still. I have kind of been thinking that maybe I want to start streaming some of my campaign prep just to show off how it's done kind of thing. Because I know uh, not very many of my players really do pay attention to my stream, which means I could probably get away with it, even including like some small spoilers and stuff. Um, but I don't know if I really want to do that quite yet. I mean, it'll probably be helpful for people to see how, how I do my conversions and they can understand, like, where things are coming from in the game. I mean, I suppose the only player that really, like, often checks in on the stream is uh, you, Mr. Obby. That's as easy as saying, hey, don't watch my stream today, though. Draw three. Nice. We got Judgment. Nice. The Wheel of Fortune. Also nice. And the Double Card, which we're going to use. Yeah, I got more health. Awesome. There was no sarcasm there at all. We got our triple pretty fly. Now the only reason I'm getting so many red hearts is because we have like the option, like the access to the full health pills. I think I may have said it earlier where um, that means that when we do get the full health, like when we use the full health, it's going to heal us a hell of a lot more. Which is super awesome. And of course Pinky Tears to give us a little bit, little bit of poison. Pick up 
Could you? Hot bombs, nice. We also do have homing bombs, so as long as we get close enough to a target. Just like that. Like I said, fortunately, oh, not polycephalus. So tiny we can fit between the like little little stream here. It's nice. There we go. Oh. Okay, just gonna grab go back and grab that blue heart there. And um Is it Satan I wanna kill today? It's Satan I wanna kill today. We are out of blue heart protection. Not a big deal. We can't actually get double room deals in this place anyway. So as long as we continue to get hearts, it doesn't matter what kind. Just got to focus on actually killing dudes instead of dodging. Or instead of not dodging, instead of um, special things. Just focus. Killing people. Yeah. Yeah. Recall. Nice. Strength. The stars and the stars. Oh, we'll keep we we'll keep this guy for now. I love having a regen too, right? Definitely helps out. There we go. Oh, we even got a battery. Let's take it. Lovely. Alright, so it should go here ish. Nope. Ah, oh, we can go in this room and do it easier.
What's this? The fool. No thanks, I'm good. I'm foolish enough on my own. Do not need help. Key! Yeah, I'm gonna spend some keys to this guy. I can go all the way down to two keys now, wouldn't mind. Mostly because I have 99. Being kind of a douche key, dude. That's what you get for being a douche. You get troll bombed. I'm too small and I'm moving too fast to be able to actually pick stuff up on the the regular. Shrieking demon jerkwads. I suppose those guys aren't actually shrieking, they're just annoying. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's awesome though. It means they that like there's a larger chance for me to get for me to block the shot than it is for me to take it right now. Which is pretty awesome when you think about it. True, somehow I am still getting hit. But don't you know it's because I'm the best Isaac player ever and I defy chance and logic at every turn? See? I told you. Skill and awesome. I'll be honest, today's build's been a bit rough on me. It's definitely not giving me a ton of options when it comes to doing awesome damage and things. Like you can see, we're still at 4.2 damage. Minimum for me that I like to take in facing anyone who's strong and powerful is definitely like 6 to 7. So... Yeah. Not doing great. There we go. Yeah, I'll take one. Didn't really do anything for me, but I took it. All right. Primary method of damage so far? Bombs. Not surprising, giving my really, really low damage overall. Glad he didn't just laser me there. Is it just is it weird that I've just now noticed that Satan's actually pretty ripped? Never really noticed it before, but he's 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 got some muscle.
There we go. Mega Satan time. It's true. Didn't you know that? Satan's made of stone. Oh, it's the little bomb fly things that are going to get me more than anything. I don't know how I'm, at, how I'm at a half heart. That's unusual. Unfortunately for Satan, I still have a full health pill, so this is kind of my victory. So, we got time for one more quick run. We are playing... Sorry, uh, for the YouTube folks, that's it for the video. That was a very long video for me, an hour and 12 on Isaac. Haven't done that in a while. Thanks for watching. Going to do one more run on the stream. <laughs>